return of many varsity starters has allowed the Naperville North girls swimming and diving team get off to a great start to the season. While experienced talent is a major benefit, the biggest change in the Husky program starts at the top. Longtime head coach Andy McWhorter stepped down to an assistant role this fall, handing the torch to former Husky assistant coach Connor Binning. After serving under the coaching legend for the past two seasons, the new sheriff in town is ready to take the reins for the blue and orange. Andy creates or order and organization and allows me to do my best job while he does his best job, so it's been, it's been nothing short of awesome. He's been very useful in helping me approach the athlete in a, in a totality perspective and helping them grow into not just great swimmers, but student athletes and go on and take on the world after that, so. Binnick has the good fortune in his inaugural season by coaching many familiar swimmers that he has seen since they were five or six years old. Whether the swimmer is new to him or not, the practice and training have been created to challenge these Husky athletes. I basically made the program here a D1 swim program shrunk down into high school bite size um, bite-sized form and so we've changed a lot of things. Some of the training has changed, the times have changed, expectations have changed, um, but it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Before taking over the Husky program, Biddick swam for the Bennett Academy Red Wings in high school. He then attended college at USC and hung up the swim cap by joining the Trojans rugby team. He also joined the Navy during his years in Southern California, but due to many injuries and lengthy rehabs, he decided to return to a more familiar environment on the pool deck. Coaching has always been natural for me, but learning how to coach not only high school athletes, but high school girl athletes has been uh, the, the, the fun but challenging element. The North captains themselves know that their previous experience around Binnig would help the Huskies swim their way to success. We already knew him and we knew that he is already a great coach and he would be a great head coach now. So it was great to already have that existing relationship and now just like a step further being the head coach, which is awesome. It's someone that we know really well and someone that we know we can trust, so it's much easier that he's our head coach, that we know him on a different level. A lot of these girls have known him since he also coaches at Crest Creek Country Club, so having that relationship for a really long time is good if you have a coach you like. Being with them for a long time is a really great thing. Despite the returning talent and a coach familiar with the program, everybody knew that the adjustment was not going to happen overnight. I don't think he knew what he signed up for. It is incredibly hard to be a swim coach for an entire group of teenage girls. I mean, we are a lot to handle, I'm not gonna lie. We cry <laughs> a lot. We are dramatic. We're, we're just girls. I think the number one thing that he had to change is just making sure he's pushing us to our limits. So, he definitely has been. Teaching a bunch of high school girls is not the easiest and he just persevered. He keeps giving us um, sets that make us better and that make us work harder. And he's also there as a supporter and a motivator. So it's just really great to have that role model figure. As time went on, Biddig not only coached his swimmers to a dominant performance, he knew that they had more in their toolkit once they jumped in the pool. I call them Swiss Army knives. I can plug them into a few different things and know that they'll be successful um, in whatever that is. And I have some that can even, you know, some that I think are sprinters or 50 freestylers and I'm like, I'll get them to meet off, throw them in the 500 and then they do something that surprises me. As the calendar hits October, crucial competition is around the corner for Biddig and the Huskies with sectionals and state just a month away. It's fun to have multiple things going on at once. It's my job to keep it organized and keep stress at a low level. It's impossible to eliminate it, but keep it at a low manageable level and then the girls just do, to, do what they're supposed to do and everything works out. Reporting for Naperville Sports Weekly, Go dogs. I'm Patrick Cotto.